So here we have one of the five sulfides that we'll be covering in this mineralogy class. And this is going to be galena, which is our lead sulfide. Um, the first thing when I look at when I see galena is the metallic luster. You can see here on this sample, me just moving my hand by the sample. It's very, very reflective, has a very strong metallic luster. Um, so that's the first thing that I see. I say, okay, this is a metallic mineral. It's very opaque. I can't see through it. Um, and then the second thing, once I pick it up in my hand, after I see the luster and the color, which is kind of this gray color, is the density. This uh, mineral has a very high specific gravity. It's very dense. Um, it weighs a ton in my hand as I'm holding it here. Um, and that's one of the indicative things about Galena. Um, the next thing, as I said, color a little bit before, is that I kind of have three different samples here that show the tarnish rates almost of um, what that would look like with Galena. So here we have this super fresh surface that's very silvery, very reflective, um, very clear looking on the surface. Then we have this one that has more of a tarnish to it. It's a deeper gray. Um, the surface isn't as clear in reflection. And then this one, which is more of a massive form where we have a bunch of small crystals. That's why you can see it gleam in the light um, instead of having that platy feature on this one. This one is a much deeper color and has tarnished, oxidized a lot more than the other samples. So this kind of gives you the full color gamut that you'll see when you see Galena. So we've got really high um, density, very metallic luster. The next thing to note is um, that this is an isometric mineral. So it falls into the isometric crystal system and uh, it has this beautiful square um, cleavage to it and crystal growth. And this one's super reflective, so it's actually almost hard to tell because it's so reflective. But one thing that's really easy to notice in Galena is this kind of like step pattern that we see here. A little step, let me see if it's easier to see on the more tarnished sample. We have this kind of platy step feature where it's not grown into a perfect cube, but it's almost like a little bit of a ladder on top here. And that's also really indicative of something like Galena. So it does form into pretty good crystal cubes here in the isometric system, much better than something like gold or copper, which are both isometric, but that you're never going to see these kind of cubic crystal habits that we have here. Um, the next thing to do if you have Galena and you're still questioning yourself is to do a streak test. So we've got a little streak plate here. That's from our copper experience. Let's see what happens when we scratch this. So this one, pretty darn soft here. It's powdered really well on the streak plate. And it's the same color that we expected to see, right? The color hasn't changed all too much. We lost a little bit of that reflectivity but it's still this kind of deeper, darker gray. So that's gonna be the streak for Galena as well if you wanna double check that. Um, and so I think that's gonna be it. It's a metallic mineral, high density, has this step formation on the top, forms really good cubes. If we looked at this with a hand sample, we'd be able to see the same kind of platy texture that we see here as well. And then it streaks um, really well on a streak plate and it's gonna be the same kind of deep dark gray that we see here. And that's Galena.